Oh, you've likely heard of places like old tires, bird baths, even kiddie pools are breeding grounds for mosquitoes. But what about the thousands of holding ponds across the state? Pam from Ham Lake wrote to us asking, in a state with so many mosquitoes, why do we have retaining ponds? Good question. Heather Brown joins us right now. First things first, let's uh, set <laughs> Pam's mind at ease. Yes, let's. <laughs> the Metropolitan Mosquito Control District told me today these retaining ponds are not good spots for mosquitoes to hatch their eggs, and that's because of the size of the pond and how it expands and contracts. They are not good breeding grounds, but that still leaves us wondering, why do we have so many of them? So what's your pond called? It's called Lake Forest. Google Maps told us. I know it from studying my property maps. On the western edge of New Brighton, the Kellis and Hodson families live on pond front property. And we thought it was quite funny since my wife grew up in Forest Lake. And so we thought, oh, well, now you can live on Lake Forest. Their holding pond is one of several connected to Long Lake. We have multiple ponds for every body of water. John Gulliver studies stormwater treatment at the University of Minnesota. Why do we have holding ponds? Uh, they help clean up the lakes and the rivers. Storm water supplies our lakes and streams, but it's also their biggest source of pollution. Think about all the tires that have worn down on our highways before a big rain. And what they do is they capture the storm water after it comes to the catch basin and the storm sewer and before it goes into the lake or the river. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're doing a public service then for Long Lake. I, I like it. They keep the pollution out of the lakes and the rivers, mm -hmm. and they keep the pollution right here in the, in the holding pond. The particles. They find copper, zinc, Lead will settle in the pond and leave the cleaner water to go back to the lakes. So our neighbor down the street used to put in a hockey rink and lights for the kids every year. Yeah, and he's his own Zamboni machine, scraping it down himself. Is that a good idea? Sure. It's not a problem. It's not? No. Okay. Storm water is not that dirty. Every 10 years or so, many ponds are cleaned out. How does the city clean it out? Uh, the city uses a dredge, or they can wait until the winter and then, uh, uh, and then use a, a, a front end loader. And clean it out. Now you tried to kayak this once. How'd that go? It didn't go very well. <laughs> no, it didn't. Uh, retention ponds are among the most common way of treating stormwater in the U.S. Studies have shown they'll get between 30 to 80 percent of the pollutants. Now there are other types of filter systems without going with the pond route, but they require more maintenance and they're more expensive. So you can oh, chalk. I didn't realize yeah. that. I know you can Learned chalk this up to now. I know. There you uh -huh. go. All right. All right. Yep. Uh, thank Thanks you, Heather. Mm -hmm. And if you have a good question for Heather, please email it by going to WCCO.com links.